Wired Health 2023, dedicated to the innovators and the innovations in healthcare. This is our 10th edition of Wired Health, which makes it the longest running Wired event. We've been running it since 2014, and really it's been chartering the innovations and innovators in healthcare and medicine. We need solutions for the problems affecting our health system now, and I think that Wired Health has delivered today. If I can help them reshape their own biography, their own narrative, that can be more powerful than any amount of morphine. How do we actually move to utilise the explosion of health data that exists in the ambient world around us? You know, and that intelligent health ecosystem will really, really drive innovation. It'll be hyper-connected. It'll intelligently learn. There's a huge opportunity right now, and I think that women are hungry to participate in studies, like finding new diagnostics and biomarkers, coming up with better ways to measure where a woman is in her reproductive health span trajectory. Our ability to detect a cancer signal in blood means that we can develop better treatments for people with early stage disease. So that ultimately we go beyond detecting those cancers to many, many more people being cured of it. Everyone here in one way or another is really focused on tapping the power of technology to reform healthcare, to create a better and more personalized experience for patients. And one of the most powerful levers we have is to ensure that our collective global system really centers women and really centers families. So we're back at King's Place in London for Wired Health. We've had some amazing sessions. We focused a lot on the NHS and many of the challenges that we face in the UK healthcare system some really fascinating sessions on the lack of funding and systemic biases when it comes to women's healthcare. We've also had some amazing personal stories. So Hannah Fry talked about how she used mathematics to make sense of her cancer diagnosis. And Rachel Clark talked about her work as a doctor in Ukraine, working in hospitals that are severely under-resourced. It's been an amazing, inspiring day. Just a joy to hear so many people really pushing the future of healthcare. Having that insight from women can really help us key into what they actually really want help with and that can enable us to build tools out of that data to help our users.